Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song by Katy Perry called Dark Horse. And it starts out with some really, really cool keyboard licks where you might want to play third fret on the high E string, second fret on the high E string, and then open E, and then open B. And we're going to end up capoing this on sixth fret, just if you're freaking out. All right. But, but if you go third fret on the high E string, second on the high E, open E, and then open B. So we're going three, two, oh, oh, three, two, oh, oh. And what you may want to kind of do is actually when the bass line comes on, it's really cool. You play third foot on the A string, third foot on the low E string, and then open E, and then open D. So we can have a C note, G note, open E, is the E note, D note. And through that part, you might want to try and kind of put those together, and you could kind of do that hybrid picking where you do the pick for the basses or the, or the fingers for the other notes. Or you might want to try that finger style too and just kind of free yourself up for that. I just think that might be kind of a really cool thing to kind of open up the tunes to kind of get those two parts together. Um, or you could just kind of work that as, as kind of a chord thing. And the chord that would back up that that first beginning put note would be a C major chord. When we play C major, first finger goes the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret, and third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the C, we're going to a G major chord. We play G major. First finger goes the A on the second fret. Second finger goes the low E on the third fret. And the third finger goes the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord. And it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G major, we're going to an E minor chord. We play E minor. First finger goes the A on the second fret. Second finger on the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, it sounds like E minor chord, it sounds really sad. And then from the E minor, we're going to be going to a D major chord, we're going to play D major. First finger goes to the G on the second fret, second finger on the high E on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret, and if you strum just the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord, it sounds really, really happy. And then we pretty much kind of repeat that, and this kind of becomes our chorus later, it's kind of that C, G, E minor. Of the intro, there's a big hit, and actually, this kind of happens at the end of the choruses too. Where you may want to do an E minor with kind of a big down and kind of kill it with the right hand. So, I'm kind of just put, doing it down and then throwing my hand at the strings to kind of kill it. So, E down, kill it. But a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4 4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So, we took the C and just tried that a lot. You'd have down, down, up, up, down, up. through our intro progression we have see the down down up up down G down down up up down E minor down down up up down D down down up up down C down down up up down G down down up up down E minor down down up up down up E minor down kill it and then from there then we'll be going into our verse and our verse is just a big vamp on the E minor so it's gonna stay on the E minor for a long but there is a cool little lick that comes in on that verse where you got third fret on the high E string. And we do that four times. And then we go to second fret on the high E string. And then open E. And then open B. So it's kind of like where we're just filling in the kind of threes for our, kind of our intro lick. It's almost exactly that same thing. G, F sharp, E, B. G, 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 F sharp, E. And what you may want to do around the E minor is to try and use your pinky or your third finger to kind of get those notes in. So you can even kind of kind of move the fingers around the chord to kind of bring that melody out. So I think that might be kind of a cool thing to kind of try. Now the weird part to play along with Katy Perry, instead of starting on a C major chord, she's actually starting on an F sharp major chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on sixth fret, then now your C major is really a, an F sharp major. Your G major is really a C sharp major. The E minor is really an A sharp minor. And your D major is really an F sharp major. Or a G sharp major. <laughs> yeah, a G sharp major. So, so if we took it from the very, very beginning, you may want to kind of open it up with those opening licks. Kind of that 3 2 0 oh, oh idea. Or you could even kind of add in the basses with that. 
which could be kind of a cool thing to kind of try and do that through the tune. So kind of getting that lick with those bass notes, uh, I just think that might be kind of a cool way to kind of enjoy the tune. People would be like, Dark Horse, oh my gosh, I, I didn't know anybody knew how to play that song yet. And then from there, the, the, then we, we'd be going into our, our intro part, and we could just, or that is our intro part, so we could do it with our strum pattern, we'd have C with a down, 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 From there, then we'd be going into our verse, which is that uh, vamp on the E minor. So, but you want to try and kind of add in that intro, like, oh, or and, and, or you might want to kind of intro that section that way, or you could try and kind of bring out that lick with the strum pattern. adding to the song those bass notes and a lot of times on that first down of the down down up up down up you could throw in a bass note for the chord so on the c chord for instance you could do an a string for your bass and then kind of keep your down up up down up so see the a bass down up up down c the a bass down up up down c the a bass down up up down and on the g chord you have the low e string for your bass the low e bass down up up down on the e minor you'd have the low e string for your bass and then on your d chord you have the Tried that through our, our next chorus. We'd have C with an A bass down, up, up down G, low E bass down, up, up down E minor, low E bass down, up, up down G with an E bass down, up, up down C with an A bass down, up, up down G with low E bass down, up, up down E minor, low E bass down, up, up down G with an E bass down, up, up down C with an A bass down, up, up down G with low E bass down, up. Kill it. And then if we tried that idea through your verse, you could even kind of, kind, of, kind of still try and kind of bring out the notes of the leg with that bass down, up, up, down, you might have low bass down, up, up, down, you might have low bass down, up, up, down, up, bass down, up, up, down. So that might be kind of a cool thing to kind of try and bring out that leg. And actually, when you get back to the next chorus, you might want to kind of try and, and do that same kind of idea around the other chords. So you have to see. Wow, this would be tricky. Let's see. Uh, yeah, 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 let's see. Might be kind of an interesting thing to kind of try. just the, the second finger and the third finger to kind of try and work the lick with the pinky and the first finger. So that's kind of a tricky deal. On the G, I'm doing kind of that same thing. And then on the E minor, I'm holding down the E minor and then working the lick with the, the pinky and the third finger. And then on the D chord, I'm just kind of cheating the E string and just using the, the pinky and the second finger to kind of work that lick around the D. And then at the very end, we kind of end up back on our chorus and then we end up with kind of a stop thumb thing on the E minor at the very end so we're going to have that tag at the very end but that's the basics of how you could strum through Dark Horse by Katy Perry so good luck